I think he did just did some of the best turns we've seen of this entire contest. Mm -hmm. uh, an eight ability to kind of get all the way through what would have already been a really cool turn and then add another 20% to it. Frame to really spring through those turns. I'm excited to go back and watch the replay of that last heat. That was uh, one of the heats of the day and Yago Dora is messing around with uh, our new favorite rock. What did you call the rock? I think with Mamiya having priority right now, he actually might be in a decent position for this one if he can get into it. This kid's got springs for legs. Give him a ramp and watch what he does. I'm liking the floaters out here. Great combo there, floater to snap. Meat and potatoes surfing from Baron Mamiya so far. Swave uh, relaxing a little bit. Now it's starting to pulse up through to the inside section. Baron Mamiya making use of uh, what he's got here on the inside. You know, not, uh, not adding huge numbers on this inside section, but definitely putting in work just to give us kind of a, a, an overall nice package of a wave. It was a good start, had a lot of speed going. Uh, there wasn't that one giant moment that sent the beach into a frenzy, but that right there is just a solid entry, solid start to his heat. He's streaking down the line here, but so casual on that first floater. I really liked it, and straight up into the lip for the second turn. Wave kind of dying out here a bit, but he knows he's done a little bit of work on the outside, so he's going to stick with it through to this inside section here. I like what you said, Chris. Meat and potatoes surfing. I like that call. Definitely that sort of style. And uh, bringing it right through to the inside. Getting pretty shallow here. You can see those rocks on the foreground there. And taps it to finish. Does. I think that's been a critical thing too, to really put that exclamation mark on the uh, end section of that wave. Your answer was 10 times better than my <laughs> pre-provided answer. Here goes Yago Dora now. His backhand, laser sharp. Whip, whip crack turns out the back. Another tight pocket snap there. So backhanders, you know, they 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 can fit in a little bit more on these smaller inside ah. sections. That right there <laughs> was skateboarding. Love to see it. And the history of sports has, has been up and down. I think their uh, their personalities, their mix, and their relationship is just amazing. It's a beautiful thing, and he's well coached and. This was just an awesome wave. It was a picturesque wave. I, I really love the way he was able to delay that long bottom turn, the second one. And then right here, that was just creative. Yeah, that I was mean, fun. who would have come up with that at the end? You know, a lot of people would be thinking reverse. Mm -hmm. He goes for a straight backside air and he has those unlocked, but you don't normally see it though. And it's really refreshing to see something like this in a jersey, especially from a goofy footer. That's harder than a backside air reverse. For sure. That's a harder maneuver. You're really good at this, Felicity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Baron Mamiya, quick snap there. And I think you nailed it. So this wave is kind of a little flattening off down the line. Here we go. Something of substance here from Mamiya. He nails it. So a different variety of straight air from Mamiya. And still going. Plenty of speed. Quick snap there. What's he got for us on the finish? You see his intent winding up. Now he wow. spins the reverse. And I personally thought this was just incredible. I mean, the, the way he's able to project down the line on the first air specifically, that's more of a down the line snap. But you're absolutely right. As goofy footers ourselves, we're looking for the bowlier ones. Regular footers can opt to take these speedy down the line waves. That's just an absolutely ludicrous air right there. He lands 180, has to revert it back, and immediately starts pumping to go down the line and do this. Set up snap, and eventually is able to get the full rotor there. So a variation of airs too, Chris, which adds to the criteria. But I mean, just incredible control of his body. And look at the positioning right here. Grabs the rail, lands Poke. 180, fins forward. Poked it too. Yeah. So even a nuance when it comes to the grab. But look at how quickly he recomposes and starts gaining speed again. That is so difficult. People that have done an air before, they understand how hard it is to regain speed, the way he was able to manufacture speed after that. To me, as good as it gets from this kid, and we're talking about a prodigal son of the state of Hawaii, you know, we call him backdoor baron for a reason. I like to call him the prodigy, Chris. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, super smart competitor, you know, 
kept going, didn't leave any meat on the boat on that wave. And here we go, Yago, backside floater, underrated for how difficult that maneuver is. Doesn't count anyway, he goes down. 14.58 on the clock. And you see things are starting to glass off. I don't even have to knock on wood because it's happening right in front of our eyes. 6.30 on the clock. Here we go, Baron Mamiya. Similar wave to his previous effort, but that one just ran away from him a little bit and then did not allow him any room to move through that mid portion of the wave. And here we go. Is this the wave that Yago Dora needs? He's only trying to get rid of a 157. Oh. He's done it with that opening turn right there. But the wave has different ideas and goes spinning off down the line without him. The 433 right here. If he just would have had something after this though, I mean, we're seeing a big number, a crucial turn right there at the beginning. Score. One big turn for Yago Dora, and here we go. Baron Mamiya. He gets a quick start. This wave could have a cool little low road on it. Nice power pocket there. Comes through this inside section, sliding his tail. Quick recovery there after digging the nose. Looking for something big here on the inside, flying down the line. Another snap, setting things up. Proper finish there for Baron Mamiya. Was that better than a 4.33? Did he leave the door open for a possible Yago Dora comeback? But this way, very smart from Baron Mamiya. Only looking to better a 4.33. I think he does so, Felicity. Yeah, I think I think he's going to better his 4.33, which means that requirement is a bit higher for Yago. I mean, Yago's at the back now. He's got priority and 27 seconds left. Is that all she wrote? I'm not sure. We'll look, once this wave, once we finish this replay, but yeah, he... Let's leave the light on here for Yago Dora. 10 seconds to go. This is his definitely uh, his last chance. Oh. Oh. For Yago Dora, <laughs> that's a pedestrian. And Yago Dora goes down to Baron Mamiya. So again, an underdog comes through. We just saw it with Gentile. We're seeing it now with Baron Mamiya.